modification is a precise way to make clever changes to DNA. It's no magic bullet for all the eels we've got, but as a technology, it's worth a shot. Most gene changes are very minor tweaks, a long way away from horror movie freaks. Yet even simple changes can do quite a lot. Many go blind from vitamin A never got. Golden rice solves this problem with more beta carotene, all from daffodils and soil bacteria gene. Vaccine injections aren't so cheap or hassle-free, but if you could grow them on trees, how would that be? Insert protein for harmless bit of virus coat primes the immune system as it goes down your throat. Hepatitis B is a big liver killer. Bananas could stop it and be stomach filler. A serious business is a nut allergy. Could a nut-free nut be the best therapy? Removing three proteins should do the trick. If it still tastes like a nut, then that's pretty slick. Farm salmon eat too much and grow far too slow. Adding Chinook genes could boost how fast they grow. Of course, not all GMO crops are for eating. There's other research that's proceeding. Plants engineered to replace oil, Petros for short. More efficient sunshine conversion, that's what's sought. Might store their excess energy as oil in bean. Whether this can replace all fuel remains to be seen. Trees can produce rubber, which is pretty elastic. The dream to go further and produce tree-grown plastic. A weed with bacterial enzymes, a solution. To degrade TNT, cleaning blast site pollution. This crop of new ideas sounds pretty astounding. So why do critics give gene tech such a pounding? The us and them is a constant frustration. How do we agree in this situation? Thank you.